Okay, burner is out. Go get a pilot assembly from Wind Supply, known as Wind Nelson's. Better to no, new name, Wind Supply. All right, so let's go get this assembly here. <coughs> this pilot assembly. Okay, we're heading out to the wind supply. Let me show you the snow up close and personal. Very nice, nothing there. Look at that snow. How cool is that? All right. All right, we're heading down the road. Going to wind supply. Here in my location, wind supply is very helpful. And, uh, they really have helped me a lot and they have everything you need they are for commercial contractors they will work with the homeowner and uh, this is in Hesperia California wind supply off of I Avenue that's in the Victorville area all right, so again, this is Home Improvement Tips, aka Easy Two Tips and Tricks. All right, Let's zoom in on that mountain and that snow. How cool is that? We've got some water, for this coming summer. Got some snow pack going on. Supply in Hesperia, California. Now, Sprinkle Donut Forge. He is a forger here on YouTube and he is a professional. He understands metallurgy. He's been doing, I forget, I don't know quite how many years, but that Sprinkle Donut Forge and He's going to be making me a custom hatchet. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this is going to come out. Because I know it's going to be really nice. And Sprinkle Donut Forge. Uh, I'll have to put his link down in the description. And maybe even in the comments. Where you can get access to his channel or just go to YouTube search and put in Sprinkle Donut Forge and that's James Duncan. All right, and we're on our way to Wind Supply, AKA Wind Nelson's, Hesperia, California. Getting closer. Back to civilization. All right. All right. All right. This is I Avenue on our way to Winco. Winco. Wind Supply. And uh, here's competitive door and finish. West Coast Heating and uh, Wind Supplies off of I Avenue and you, but we'll be able to see it just like it'll be like right there just a half a block down quarter block down when we get to it and uh, like I say they are commercial they are for the professional and they will work with homeowners but that's not their 
specialty. I mean, it's not what they focus on. It is for the tradesmen. Um, but nowadays, when you can't find what you want at Home Depot or Lowe's, wind supply can be a place where you can purchase your parts that you need for all your plumbing needs. They have all that you need. And they can order whatever it is you're looking for. But remember, they are a contractor's plumbing supply business. And uh, <clears throat> we'll be arriving there soon enough. Irrigation, landscape, sprinklers, whatnot. Mary just passed as we are getting close to World of Colors. So here we are coming up here. We are now approaching Eucalyptus and I. Eucalyptus and I, right here. <clears throat> we have a mobile station there. We have high desert fasteners over here. All right. As we're coming up, Here, let's get a zoom in on this street. There's wind supply right there. And here we are, wind supply. Wind supply. Okay, see here we have a contractor's truck. All right, now let's go in and grab this beast here as I'm zoomed in too much. Get this burner out of here. Okay, thermal coupler replacement solved the problem. I had to re replace the first one, second one. All right, when I installed this thermal coupler that I replaced the old one with okay you notice this slight kink here all right now you can see in here it's actually bent okay Let's see if I can clear that up okay it's a slightly kink just enough to possibly damage wire or whatever it is that's inside this copper tube, okay? Uh, <clears throat> the pilot would light, stay lit, the burner would come on, and then slowly fade out. I mean, I'll, I'll kind of demonstrate here for you. The pilot would go poof, and it would be flame, inflamed. Then it would slowly decrease and then poof and go out, okay? And then if I played with it, played with the gas control valve on the top here, um, and I adjusted this here, um, and then turn up my hot water heater to all the way extreme hot, I could get it to sit there and just kind of hover and not go out for a few minutes. On a couple occasions, it actually stayed lit and then I turned up the gas, the propane coming in, and was able to actually heat my water on a couple occasions. But that's, you're having this trouble. <clears throat> Replace your thermocoupler. Even if you see no damage to the thermocoupler, they can be faulty thermocouplers. Okay, they're six bucks or so, nine bucks. Um, so replacing this thermocoupler worked. I will show you that it's working. 
during the flames it's where everything's together and i wasn't thinking that was the problem but i knew it was kinked and my thought is well it's, it's a solid piece of copper just copper and i and i kinked it and you can see the bend in the copper right there all right at this point you can see the bend in it and uh the other thing as well as you put this through a metal bracket in the metal bracket it's spaced out about like yeah, and there's a hole in the bottom and top and this goes up through the holes but if you notice here there are ribs you see these are ribs at this point here there's ribs here well that's where the little pinch ring goes and locks this onto the thermocoupler okay don't put it in the middle don't put it in in the middle here that pinch ring that where it locks it in place it's made to go down on these ribs okay and which locks it in place okay and so put that on properly they have a nice flowing bend you know just nice flow bend to your wire you know like here here here's i'll show you a nice flowing bend there's a nice flowing bend right there no 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 kinks no nothing just a nice flowing bend in this wire do not kink it okay because the kink is where the problem came in here right below the thermal coupler there where you can see it kinked at this spot okay sorry for all the movement i'm having to hold this with one hand all right so i can't emphasize that enough no kinks there's a better view right there i didn't think it was going to matter and it made all the difference in the world um this was not this was okay even though this was full of crud there was nothing wrong with this unit and I just replaced it. Uh, I now have a backup, but, but this should last um, unless the water tank goes out. This should last another 10, 12, who knows, 15 years, 20 years, who knows. Um, it definitely added life to it. This was uh, from Wind Supply. This ran me about 280 and some change for taxes, after taxes. Um, and your serial number on it are these little numbers. Let me see if I can get the clear up. The clear up is right here. There's your serial numbers. All right. I'm going to zoom. Oh, I can't zoom. Can I? No, I cannot zoom here. Let's see if I can do a, make it. I don't want to do that. Well, yeah, maybe if I can zoom now, then it's all good. Okay, well, you can see the numbers now. These numbers right here, the 37C72U55, that's space or dash 51. That's the model number. Now, this is a replacement, okay, for this. And this is a replacement one that worked here. Okay, let's zoom in so you can see that. There's a the replacement number. Okay. And the replacement number is 37C72UL547. That's the replacement that worked for this. Okay. So, now you know, and I will show you the flame. You can hear it popping a little bit. Make it, excuse my face shot. And uh, let's show you what this is going to look like on the inside.
there you have it okay, let's do a zoom in there okay there's your thermocoupler all right and your pilot the pilot is that metal piece that kind of spreads out looks kind of like a triangle the thermocoupler is that round looking brass fitting in front of it all right and everything's working well and this is a it's about a 10 year old or so A.O. Smith propane 75 gallon propane hot water heater okay So this concludes the thermocoupler, thermocoupler replacement and conclusion of replacing the, the propane LP gas regulator. All right. Like I'm saying, even though this was full of crud, there was nothing wrong with this. I pinched, kinked. The thermocoupler tube right behind the thermocoupler by about three eighths of an inch, and it caused the problem where I ended up replacing this because I thought that this valve right here inside on the thermocoupler, okay, I thought this thermocoupler, the, the relay in here went bad, which is rare. They usually don't go out. They're pretty well made, pretty bulletproof. All right, but I thought that had gone out and wasn't the problem. So I'm going to clean this out of there and put it away for a spare. All right, so this is Ken, Home Improvement Tips, a.k.a. Easy 2 Tips and Tricks. Thank you for watching. Save for a future reference. Tell a friend. It's a win-win-win. And never give up because there's a ways away, always. Bye for now and God bless. Let's pray for those in these war-torn country. There in Ukraine.